Hart House is special in many, many ways. Well, you know, it's such a beautiful venue with uh, great outdoors gardens and, and facilities that are, uh, are really hard to, uh, to find anywhere, uh, not only in Burnaby, but uh, not even in Vancouver or San Francisco for that matter. It's um, a great place to come for work, for business, for pleasure. You know, they are the center of Burnaby, or the heart of Burnaby, if you want to put it that way. Well, the Hart House is a perfect place for a romantic dinner. It's where business gathers in Burnaby. That's, I think, a very important thing to know. There is always a business deal going on somewhere or another. It's hard for me to say anything more than it's a place to come. Ever since the place opened in 1988, I've, I've been a steady customer. Hart House was a summer home for the Hart family, built in 1910. Uh, and they lived here until 1916, after which three different families lived in the house up until 1979. At that time, the corporation of the city of Burnaby bought the surrounding property around the lake. And in 1986, our current owner, Paul Smolin, was approached with a couple of partners to open up a restaurant at the location. The restaurant finally opened in 1988 and has been going strong since then. I came to Burnaby 21 years ago and I've been coming to the Hard House ever since. The menu is always spectacular. It's always seasonal, always fresh, always very contemporary. The Hard House grounds have a very special memory for me because not only do we utilize the restaurant and the patio, but every year we have a special reception and dinner for the annual uh, symphony orchestra performance at Deer Lake Park. So I have such tremendous uh, memories of meeting so many friends here, preparing for a night at the symphony orchestra, sharing the, uh, the wonderful cuisine of the Hard House, and looking out over beautiful Deer Lake. It, it really is a special event and one that continues to bring memories each and every year. I got married at this fine restaurant on February 29th, 1992. We had a reception and uh, had about 80 guests. And it's, uh, it was really uh, probably the very special time in my life that I remember most. I have memories, personal memories. My daughter was married here. Our board appreciation every year, Dania and Hermana, we do our annual dinner here as well. Uh, we're very well treated. Hard House graciously helps us out with our Ladies Auxiliary, our fundraising. But my memories of the Hard House and Paul and Carol, it, it goes way back to the Summer Games. And Paul was the director of the Summer Games looking after food. And if you can believe it, he served to between three and 4,000 people, three meals a day, all through it. Paul had a special table. And this table he had was just outside the door of the restaurant. And he used to have a luncheon after everybody else was gone, about 1.30, 2 o'clock. We used to sit around there and talk, have great wine, great food, and smoke cigars. So my memory of sitting up the Hart House was that number one situation, the comradeship, sitting around that table, drinking all all Paul's expensive wine and all their food and having cigars. We bring a lot of clients here from the United States. So we come here with the clients for dinner or lunch. And uh, what I always recommend them is, you know, why don't we just put the menu aside and ask the chef to create us something that, you know, you're going to really enjoy. And uh, they've never let me down yet. It's always been excellent. Well, it's a tremendous place to have a business meeting because you're in such a a quiet, uh, a quiet atmosphere, a place that's so gorgeous, physically gorgeous, and at the same time the facilities are tremendous. It allows you to be able to focus on business, to be able to bring people together in a very convivial atmosphere. Um, it's always got top-notch service and food. So I've discovered it's a great place to meet with various people, whether it's been political leaders, mayors from other cities, uh, consul generals who visit our city. It's been a place that you can bring almost anyone and you know that they're going to enjoy the opportunity to visit this beautiful heritage restaurant. More business deals and dealings have been uh, consummated here, I'm sure, than any other establishment in town, whether it be boardroom or restaurant. A year or two after I arrived in Burnaby, which was in 1997, um, the Burnaby Now, bought a team into the croquet tournament, uh, donations to the uh, BC Special Olympics, and the next year I was recruited onto the committee, and I stayed on the committee until the very last event. 
we were all involved in a croquet tournament. The croquet tournament for the number of years. I mean, it started at six o'clock in the morning and it went right till midnight and we had live auction items. We raised between, well, Paul and Carol raised between 60 and $70,000 in that one day. Well, first I'd like to congratulate Paul and Carol for winning the award for the Burnaby business. And there's a great group of people that have won that award and it's long deserving that the Art House has won. Well, I'd like to propose a toast to my friends, Carol and Paul Smolin, to all of the staff at Hart House. To the Hart House, no better business that I can think of to be inducted into the Burnaby Board of Trade Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Paul and Carol. You deserve this. You've worked so hard for the Hart House, for your place in Burnaby. You have a great restaurant, great couple, great service. Well, here's to the Hart House from their 26 years in business. To all the staff, the chef, the Smolin family, everybody, congratulations and welcome to the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Cheers. Cheers.